Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we have in here for evaluation is a fantastic grouping. And this is a grouping directly out of the family. And this grouping belonged to Confederate General Lloyd Tillman of the 3rd Kentucky. General Tillman was born in Maryland. He attended West Point. He fought in the Mexican War. And at the beginning of the Civil War, he was in Paducah, Kentucky. Matter of fact, his home in Paducah, Kentucky is now a museum attributing to him. And it's a very nice museum. And Paducah's on the river. Well, as the war progressed, Tillman was given the command of Fort Henry. And you had the battles of Fort Henry and Fort Donelson in Tennessee. He fought gallantly. And up the rivers come the gunboats, the ironclads, and they lay siege to Fort Henry. Running out of ammunition and the rain and the adverse conditions, he surrendered to Admiral Foote, one of the few field officers to surrender to a naval officer. He was sent to prison. And he was kept there approximately six to eight months. And then he was exchanged back. And in 1863, he was given back the command of the 3rd Kentucky. Upon assuming command of the 3rd Kentucky Infantry again, General Tillman was presented this wonderful silk flag. And I'll have the cameraman get up close, take some good pictures of it here shortly. Let's talk about Lloyd Tillman just for a moment. When Grant was advancing toward Vicksburg in May of 63 at a place called Champions Hill, Lloyd Tillman was directing fire at the Union artillery. He dismounted his horse, he pulled his saber, and was directing fire, and a Union artillery canister exploded 50 feet from him, and it pierced his chest. His son, who was with him at the time, picked him up off the ground and held him in his arms, and he died immediately. Now, these artifacts here were in his effects, and they were sent through the lines. In our museum here in Kentucky, we have the request from Tillman's adjutant to send his body and his effects through the lines. And these were part of those effects. And on the scabbard, between the mounts, when it was returned to the family, it is engraved that this was the sword and belt that he was wearing when he was killed on that fateful day. The cameraman will get a close-up close of it here shortly. And the sword, which is a foot officer sword, not a calf sword, because the scabbard is a calf sword. The foot officer sword was, all, was given from Colonel Tillman, prior to being a general, to a William J. Morrison of Barron County, Kentucky. And that was part of the artifacts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a value on all of it. And you're going to see, of course, this group in here. And the value will include the flag. The self-presentation flag. And I'm putting a value on this entire grouping of $100,000. And you can break it down any way you want to break it down. But the entire grouping, this has impeccable providence back to the original family. And for me, being from the state of Kentucky and a loyal son of the South, it's really a privilege to be able to share these artifacts with you. So I'm going to step back, let the cameraman do his thing, and from the Civil War guru, have a great day. Welcome to the Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson, and I am the Civil War Guru. And here in front of you that you're looking at now is the silk presentation flag of Confederate General Lloyd Tillman of Kentucky, who was in charge of the 3rd Kentucky. This is a magnificent flag. And the cameraman's going to get up here and get some close ups of this thing. This was a presentation flag to Lloyd Tillman after he got out of, out of prison when they exchanged him. And it's made in sections, and you'll see that when you get the close-ups. It's a 15-star flag also. The stars are applied on both sides. 
and so are the, the Blue Runners. This is a magnificent flag. Silk, silk, silk. Everything on it is silk. It's in wonderful condition. You got some little fraying up there where it's separated over the years. But this is part of that family grouping from the original family. And if you've seen the other video, we're going to try to hook both these videos up where we have his sword and his, and his belt and his, his scabbard. This was part of his effects that were sent through the lines in 1863 when he was killed. And his flag was in his artifacts when they were going through the lines and went back to his family. And it's been in his family ever since. This is probably the, one of the few times that it's seen the light of day. It has been inspected by one of the finest textile people in the United States that inspects a lot of the, probably most of the Confederate flags, Miss Fonda. And of course, she said there's one of the most spectacular flags. She's evaluated. She said there's two other ones almost identical to it. One is uh, John Bell Hood's flag, also from Kentucky and another Western Theater flag. But what makes this thing so exciting is like the, the other far artifacts that accompany it is that this is directly from the family. It's roughly 36 inches in length. It's 31 to 32 and a half inches in height. It has the original ties on it. This flag, the colors, the condition, and, and seldom ever seen in, in private hands. This, this flag on itself is, is, is six figures. And I'm just, just thrilled to death to have the opportunity to share it with you. So from the old Civil War guru, have a great day. Thank you.